He is me, and I am going to talk to you a little bit about these uh, mittens. <laughs> um, if you've got an email earlier this week uh, with a drawing of different um, shapes and forms of mittens, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the bonanza now, the mitten bonanza, and how these mittens, these different mittens, uh, fit into the different kind of shapes. So if you're following this on YouTube and you want more of this, remember to click the follow button. Okay, let's dig in to the mittens and let me show you. Hey, um, it's Anne and I am going to talk to you a little bit about different types of mittens because there's so many different mittens out there. Um, so let's get started. I uh, I don't know if you saw this, but I sent out a picture of different mittens talking about just slightly touching on uh, the fact of how many different types of shapes you find for the mittens. The mittens are, you know, they are in one, you know, a mitten is a mitten, right? It's got a cuff, it's got a thumb and it's got a tip. Uh, you can take away the um, the uh, the top, and it will be a fingerless glove. Then you can get uh, or a wrist warmer, as some people call it, and you can make fingers on it. And then it's not no longer a mitten, but it's a glove. Uh, and now we are today. I'm going to talk to you basically about mittens. Some people find mittens really scary. Another other people have cracked the code uh, and you know do it as uh, easy as uh, you know cycling <laughs> it's with mittens as with as with everything else in knitting when you know how to do it it's easy um, and uh, in the mitten bonanza uh, you get all kinds of mittens and you get mittens that you can do, you, you know, you can start off doing them in one color if you want to. Um, they all have patterns on them, apart from one which is actually knitted in one color, and that is this one. And then we do the embroidery uh, afterwards. This one is not quite finished, but this is what it looks like. You, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, some different mittens, and then we're going to start off with a traditional mitten knitted like the Norwegians would do it right and if you look at this one this is a typical um, traditional mitten with a ribbing which is this one is two knit and one purl and if you turn it around it's got one pattern on one side and it's got a different pattern in the palm it also has a mitten and a gusset here in, in uh, the mitten. So it, it, what happens then is that you increase as you go along up here. Um, the tip is fairly pointed, but it could be even more pointed like this one. This is more pointed. That, what I've done here, what you do on this one, is that you round it off. You start off almost the same not quite but uh, and then you get the the uh, on this one you get the very tip you know pointed tip and here is a slightly rounded one i'm going to show you a third one i'm going to move these up there <laughs> and then you what you will see here is that this one is even more rounded than this one and um, this one here is as well these are the same has the same kind of tip. This is um, a pointed one which is uh, rounded a bit and these one are more rounded. It's still, you know, uh, you could have made it pointed but it, you make a bigger um, incre decrease so that the uh, bow here goes rounder and not as pointed and this one is, is, you know, as pointed as you can get it. What's common for these three is that, uh, four, <laughs> is that they are decreasing on the sides here going this way up here 
you can if you want to do like I've done on these ones here they have a rounded top one is more uh, rounded or a bit more pointed than the other but they have they are made after the same principle of these two tops here and the same goes for this one it's got the same kind of rounded top how you do that is that you decrease in the round and not on the sides only okay you also see if you look at the thumb these three here has a thumb that is you know going out from the mitten like this so has this one here what you do normally what we do in traditional knitting in Norwegian mittens is that you make a gusset like this one and like I showed you on the red one so you get a gusset here and you make that thumb okay and this one is a male version of that and this one also has a gusset but it doesn't show that much and this one has a gusset here it is clearly defined okay then you have another way of doing it and that is if you look at these here these three here you see that they go out here they haven't got the traditional gusset they increase here at the side only and then you knit the thumb as you do on the gusset version but you don't do the increase um, on the gusset you do the increases on both sides here on these versions here you do the increase here only and looking at the hand it doesn't you know it does make kind of sense because your your hand is going out right so it goes out where your thumb is going out and um, it looks like this when you get it on so these are the three different types of uh, gussets that I make I make these ones the traditional ones like these here where this one is more defined and then you have this one here where you knit from the mitten and out so it's knitted in on the outside of the mitten in a way okay uh, there you go and then you have the same kind of what you do is what you often do when you do the tip on the thumb is that the tip of, tip of the thumb reflects the tip of the mitten right so there you go one mitten which is has an increase on the side one that has a gusset one that has an increase on the side even more on the side and then you have a pointed one you have a slightly pointed one and you have a rounded one in the top and you have cuffs cuffs are a completely different chapter story if you look at these 12 mittens they are none of them are the same in the cuff they all got different cuffs can you see that and there is you know the only thing stopping you from uh, uh, making a new cuff is actually your imagination but here you have 12 mittens all in the bonanza all got different cuffs and they all got tutorials to show you how to do them okay uh, this was just to let you know this is what's going on <laughs> when you do mittens and obviously if you are new to mittens and you want to give it a try with this bonanza um, all you have to do is to decide to start and to knit a plain colored one knit as many plain colored as you want to and then when you're ready go on to the multicolored ones okay good luck